Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hacking Maths. Today, we're going to use the calculator to work out the area under a normal curve. So let's switch our calculators on and begin. The standard normal distribution is written as the variable z is normally distributed with a mean of zero and a variance of one. For a random variable that has a normal distribution, it is written like this. The variable x is normally distributed with a mean of mu and a variance of sigma squared. Remember that the variance is a standard deviation squared. The total area under the normal curve is equal to 1, and we can consider the partial areas under the curve as representing probabilities for being in those areas. So, let's work out some examples on the standard normal distribution. To bring up the calculator's function to find the area under a normal curve, press second and then bars. This takes us to the distribution menu. Scroll down and highlight normal CDF, the second option in this list. Press enter. We should now see the following screen. Lower. This is the lower bound of the area. Upper. This is the upper bound of the area. Mu. This is the mean of the distribution. And for a standard normal distribution, that is zero. Sigma. This is the standard deviation of the of the distribution, and for a normal distribution, that is 1. So now we're ready to perform some calculations. Our first one is calculating the area below a specific value on the graph. The value is 1.39, as we can see here in our example. So we're going to work out the probability, or the area under the graph, for z being less than 1.39. This has given us our upper boundary of 1.39. However, what are we going to use for our lower boundary? Well, seeing as we want to use all the way across to the left-hand side of the graph, we can use minus, and make sure you use the correct minus, 100 million. Press enter after you put that in. Our upper bound is 1.39. And as this is the standard normal distribution, the mean is always zero and the standard deviation is always one. Make sure paste is highlighted. Press enter twice. And then this gives us the solution. We get an area of 0 0.917735. So approximately 0 0.918 or 91.8% of the curve is below 1.39. Now that you have seen how to use the calculator to find the area below a specific point on the normal curve, it is very straightforward to work out the area above. If we look at our second example, the probability that z is greater than 0 0.64. We are working out an area above, so we already know our lower bound. For the upper bound, we just use 100 million. Note that this time is positive. Mean and standard deviation are the same, so let's put this data into the calculator. Press second and press bars, taking us to our distribution menu. Then scroll down to normal CDF, press enter. We enter our lower bound of 0 0.64, our upper bound of 100 million, and then leave our mu is 0 and our standard deviation is 1. Make sure paste is highlighted, then press enter twice. This gives us an answer of 0 0.261086, so approximately 0 0.261 or 26.1% of the curve is above 0 0.64. So far we have calculated the area above and the area below. But what about the area between two values? I think you might be able to figure this one out yourself. Here, in our third example, we're working the probability that minus 1.2 is less than z, less than 0 
why don't you pause the video and give it a try yourself? Go on, pause it and give it a go. So, did you try it? Let's see if you got it right. Press second and then virus to take us back to the distribution menu. Scroll down to normal CDF and press enter. Our lower boundary will be minus 1.2. Make sure you choose the correct minus. Our upper boundary will be 0 0.4. And our mean and standard deviation remain the same as 0 and 1 respectively. Make sure our paste is highlighted and press enter twice. And we get an answer of 0 0.54035. So approximately 0.540 or 54.0% lies between those two points. I hope you found this useful and I look forward to seeing you again on Hacking Maths.